thank you again for being present. Uh, we're here today uh, because we are gathering around Mayor Sylvester Turner as he leads our city in coming together in a united fashion to show collective cooperation and compassion. On behalf of the plethora of pastors who are present today representing churches of various denominations and even other faith uh, pers persuasions with the, the Islamic Society and the Nation of Islam, uh, we have MJ Khan here from the Islamic Society and Minister Robert Muhammad from Mosque 45 and others. We're here today to say that we are one city with one future. And uh, the devastation, as all of us are aware, has touched all of us uh, quite deeply. And of course, there were certain sections of our city uh, more impacted than others. Uh, but everywhere there's someone who was negatively impacted by this flood, we care for them. Uh, the vision for H-Town Cares, which is the entity that you have received information concerning H-Town Cares, uh, came as a result of crisis. And often vision and opportunity is birthed in tragedy and in crisis. Uh, and our response of collective concern has formed this entity uh, that brings us together to marshal our resources uh, individually and collect collectively for the betterment of those who are in need. Uh, churches uh, overwhelmingly have come into support. We have, uh, with organizational support, over 200 churches that are connected to H-Town Cares. We're also thankful to have business partners. Wells Fargo Bank is the official bank for H-Town Cares, our banking partner, and HEB uh, Foods uh, has stepped up in a significant way, as well as State Farm Insurance and Dr. Pepper and others are joining by the day. The NAACP is also a part of this uh, coalition and apparatus. We're grateful to God for all of those who have stepped up to serve and to show support. Our efforts are pretty simple, and that is to collect uh, resources from individuals, from businesses and companies and churches, and is, even, of course, in cooperation and collaboration with the Red Cross in order that we might set up collection sites, and we've got a number of churches and other entities around this city that's become collection sites for those resources right across the street at our 1023 campus. Our entire youth activity uh, building is now a warehouse. Uh, for clothes and shoes and food items and toiletries and every other item you can imagine. Uh, and that's a distribution point as well. The Harvest Time Church and other churches here have been uh, collection sites and distribution sites. Uh, we have served thousands of people collectively over the last seven days, for which we're grateful. But this is a protracted effort that's going to require continued help and resources. And we're thankful uh, today that our mayor is challenging and motivating us, uh, and that he is supported as well by other elected officials and all of us are working together. We've got federal uh, governance here with our congresswoman and, of course, our county leadership here with uh, Commissioner uh, Locke as well. I'm going to ask our mayor to give a statement, and afterwards we'll have the other elected officials, our congresswoman and uh, uh, Commissioner Locke, to speak of resources he's bringing to the table, and then we'll talk a little bit about what HEB is doing and uh, what Wells Fargo has done. Uh, this is a great day for Houston, and we want to make sure that the report gets out to be accurate. We are not, we are not watching people suffer in Houston. Houston responded immediately to the human crisis and the human need, and that crisis has not ended. For even though the weather is not storming in the sky physically, there's a storm still raging in the lives of the people who lost their cars, their shoes, their clothes, their food, and their necessities. And we intend for a flood of love to solve that crisis in Houston, Texas. So we ought to celebrate our unity and appreciate our diversity and understand the compassion that's going forth through H-Town Cares. Having said that, we're here now from Mayor Turner. Thank you, Thank you Bishop Ditcher. Let me, be, let me be very, very brief. Uh, I certainly uh, welcome the support of, of all of, of these pastors and the churches uh, from the Houston area and even the greater Houston area uh, in this moment of crisis and need and even beyond. And so uh, no, no one entity can do it by uh, itself. And I want to thank um, all of the pastors here uh, under the concept of, of H-Town Cares uh, for stepping up 
Uh, this is, it's, 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 it is a miraculous moment. This is a great city. And even when we are facing some very difficult times, when literally thousands of people are out of their homes, thousands of people who are without uh, just basic necessities, um, that the spirit of the of Houstonians really comes forward. And uh, this demonstrates it. I mean, if, if anything ought to be noted from this, from this tragedy is the fact that the unity and the camaraderie and the, and the support of that has developed and come, come about as a result of this tragedy. So on behalf of uh, the city of Houston, I want to thank the faith-based community as a whole uh, from all denominations, all of the groups, for just coming up and stepping up in a major, major way. I want to thank uh, the Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee uh, for her assistance in working on the federal level to expedite and speed up things. I appreciate that. Conversations that she's had with Red Cross and others, um, even touring the, 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 the area today. Thank you so very much. I want to thank Commissioner Jean Locke uh, for being there, looking uh, throughout the county for various housing units and to make those things available. I certainly appreciate him. I want to thank the corporate community, uh, HEB and others that are stepping up in a big, in a big, big way. Um, there, are two, there are two major priorities uh, that I said. One was to provide people with housing, either on a temporary or on a permanent basis. That's number one. The second priority is debris removal, because you don't want to keep victimizing folks by seeing all of the debris in front of their homes. And so that's been major. And so since uh, Thursday morning, uh, Solid Waste Department has even been on the apartment complexes, on the grounds, even though it's not our responsibility to remove debris at the apartment complexes, the 17 that we have identified as of Thursday morning, they have been out there removing debris. And then on Saturday morning, uh, they have been out in, the, in nine quadrants of the city removing debris uh, throughout the city. They did that Saturday. They did it all day Sunday. They're back out here today. Those are the two things. Because number one, bear in mind, we still have the Zika virus threat. And so it's important not just to deal with the flooding issue, but to make sure that we remove this debris from a public health hazard. But the city itself cannot do everything by itself. And that's why I want to thank all of the churches, all of the pastors, all of the other elected officials, uh, community, the corporate business community for simply stepping up. So thank you so very much. And if you, if you don't mind, I'm going to step out into the other room because I, I need to talk with, to, a, to, to a few people on, that are waiting for me. So thank you so, so very much. Thank you. Uh, let me quickly, as the mayor goes uh, to the large meeting, to again emphasize the value and importance of the collaboration here, HCARES, but as well uh, the collaboration of state, federal, and local government. Let me quickly say this. We always come to the podium and acknowledge that people died, but we also acknowledge that there are wonderful people who will come together to make them, to help them live. So thank you uh, to the Islamic uh, Relief Society and MJ Khan, uh, to both uh, Bishop Beatty and Bishop Dixon. Uh, Bishop Beatty's center was open on the first day, Monday, uh, by reaching out to him and reaching out to the Red Cross. Uh, but I'm very glad to announce that we have, and it obviously uh, came down this afternoon, is the Federal uh, National Disaster Declaration. Thank you, President Obama. It was done within 24 hours. That means that we will now have individual assistance uh, that will cover uh, all of the people that have been harmed and have been, uh, if you will, uh, deprived of housing and all of their goods. It will also provide for businesses as well. Uh, we met earlier today and looked at pastors how we can be constructive in turning the corner on this city's constant flooding. We realize that we live 50 feet below sea level, but we also realize a combination of local, state, and federal funds will help us in an organized plan, make a difference in the lives by looking at those bios and using best practices. So we made a commitment to do a systemic performance evaluation, to look at the question of overdevelopment, and yes, look at the question of climate variables. You know what that is. And so I stand ready to be of assistance. Uh, Pastor Pinder will be handed off from the uh, church in Harvest Time, along with a community of faith, and any of the other churches. Let me leave the mic by saying this. 
FEMA will be looking for service centers. And we hope that that will be part of the effort that we can work with HCARES and this faith community. Thank you to HEB, who is always, uh, and uh, Winnell, to have always taken the call. We appreciate it. I will go back to Washington and keep working uh, to be a partner in all of this. Awesome. To the members of the faith community who've gathered here, I am certainly not surprised that you have stepped up as quickly and as strongly as you have. I know many of you, you're people of faith, you believe your preachings, and you live it, and the example of all of us coming together should renew us both spiritually and humanly. And so I applaud you for coming together. As the commissioner of Precinct 1, I have citizens who live in the city of Houston who are suffering. I also have citizens who are living in the unincorporated areas north of here who are suffering. As a consequence, I've committed to bring services. I had dump trucks on the site on Monday trying to relieve people. I've communicated with Mayor Turner and said that I will spend county money in the city of Houston on deb debris removal. And right now I have county crooks in the city of Houston and in the unincorporated area removing debris. And we will continue that until we've completed the process. I've got an agenda item on commissioner's court tomorrow to give me the money to make sure that this happened. And I've also committed that if any of you have parishioners, members who have debris at their sites and it, we haven't been able to get to it and it's causing a problem, just call precinct one. We'll send somebody out and we'll take care of it. Finally, I want to say to you all, it is so wonderful that so many of us are saying we want to help. And our expression of help is to assemble goods and commodities so that, so that they can be delivered to distribution sites where people need it. If you have a problem getting your supplies that have been gathered at your church or your synagogue or your temple to a distribution site, call Precinct 1. I'll have flatbed trucks. I'll have passenger trucks. I'll have little trucks, I'll have big trucks, I'll have trucks there to help you get the products that your members have given to the need, needy people in the areas that are affected. This is an area where we'll all have to work together. I am convinced that the best of us will come forward out of this tragic situation. And I can say God bless you all and God bless the people who've been impacted. Thank you. Thank you. I want to ask MJ Khan to come and speak uh, briefly about the, about the Islamic Society's participation, and uh, we'll wrap up in a few moments with a couple of other comments, and then we'll move, move forward. Thank you, MJ. Thank you, Bishop. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. There's a famous uh, saying of Prophet Muhammad, may be, peace be upon him. The best among you are the one who are best for the people. So if you are best and you're most helpful to others, that makes you the best. And that's what you see in Houston, all across Houston. And thanks to the leadership of uh, Bishop Dixon, we see the best of Houston coming to, uh, together tonight. This is what Houston is all about. When there is, when there is tragedy, it is a test for people who are not suffering from that tragedy to come together and do their part to make sure that people who are suffering from this tragedy have at least the basic needs fulfilled in the most expeditious manner. I want to thank uh, uh, all the pastors and the leaders, faith leaders who are gathered here today, the elected officials, uh, our congresswoman, our uh, county commissioner, and our great mayor, uh, you know, uh, probably it was uh, uh, destined for him to be at this hour leading the Houston because Houston needed real leadership, which he provided. Mm -hmm. I want to appeal to all of Houston, but especially I want to appeal to the Islamic community of Houston. This is your opportunity to come forward and do your part. Make sure you give your time Make sure you give your uh, money, make sure you give your resources, but most importantly, make sure you pray 
for the betterment of all of Houston. Thank you very much. Thank you. And of course, uh, the minister of Mosque 45 of the Nation of Islam, Minister Robert Muhammad and uh, Derek Muhammad are here. And I want to thank him and ask Minister Robert to come and talk a minute from their perspective. I know they've been in the trenches as always, making a difference. Receive Minister Robert. Where's uh, Pastor Johnson? Come on, Pastor Johnson. I, j I just have the title, but these are the workers mm -hmm. who've come together, also Pastor Deckard, and we've decided that Christ and Muhammad have a job to do, and that is to relieve the suffering and pain of our people. So we've decided to be smarter than the wino the wino doesn't care what the label on the bottle says. He just want to know if there's some wine in that bottle. And these men have come together in the spirit of brotherhood uh, to take care of the least, the last, the lost, and the left behind. So I wanted to make sure that you know that we're church along with others, Brother Derek, his brother Jesse, Mars 45, Pastor Deckard, and uh, the churches have come together and we're doing our part. But we're appealing now to even the activist community at all that we've got to solve the problem of the response, but then we have to work on the recovery. Yes, sir. And hurricane season is coming on June the 1st. So we've got to get ready for preparedness and mitigation. And that includes uh, our city, TxDOT, all of those things, because our building, our road, our road building and our development patterns are causing this flooding or contributing to this flooding. So there's got to be a systemic change. There's got to be a broad change. But right now, we've got to take care of the suffering of the people. So thank you, Bishop Dixon. Thank you for your leadership. Uh, thank the mayor. Thank you, Commissioner Locke, and also Congresswoman Lee. And uh, keep it coming in and keep giving your donations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Robert. I want to ask uh, Juanelle Heron to come. Uh, she's representing HEB and uh, playing a vital role in an effort we have in partnership with HEB with H-Town Cares. Juanel. Thank you, Bishop Dixon. HEB is proud to uh, partner with H-Town Cares as we really focus on, as has been said so well by so many this afternoon, the immediate needs and the long-term needs of those that have been impacted the most by the historic flooding that occurred in the greater Houston area last week. Um, we're stepping up and providing uh, support whether that be in the term of water, uh, cleanup kits, product, but we're also inviting our customers starting today um, to visit one of our local area HEB stores and make a donation to this important cause. Um, we, this weekend, we'll have a series of uh, events, several stores, and also, once again, encourage our customers to participate by purchasing care bags for those in need, whether that care bag be a care bag with grocery items, food items, or personal hygiene items. We know the impact that that has on individuals and families. So once again, we're proud to partner with all of the individuals here, elected officials, pastors, churches, and the community at large to really help be there in need for times of crisis to support our neighbors and really show them the heart that we all have in Houston and that we do, in fact, truly care about them. Thank you, Juanel. We appreciate that. And we really want to urge all of our people to get out and support HEB in this effort. And uh, we know where we should shop this weekend uh, to make at your HEB. And uh, is that the right commercial? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Shop at your HEB. Yeah, yes, I like that. I've been wanting to do that. Tell Scott I did it. Uh, uh, but I also want to thank God for all these pastors are doing things that we don't have time to chronicle all of their efforts and involvement. And uh, I feel that I'm doing someone a disservice by only mentioning some, but I want every pastor here to know that it's a we and not a me. Uh, and I'm very clear on that, very, very clear on that. And uh, I believe in the principle of collective potency. And uh, so I thank God for all that we're doing. It takes all of our hands, hearts, and heads to make the difference. Uh, as mentioned before, 
the Harvest Time Church has been serving as the epicenter uh, as it relates to collection and distribution. We've been partnering with them, uh, shouldering with them. Uh, Bishop Bate has provided leadership at a stellar level with his congregation. And now we're shifting to uh, the Fallbrook Church and the Community of Faith as principal distribution sites. Pastor Terrence Johnson uh, was here earlier. I'm not sure if he's still here. He got off the plane in rush here. But their Katy location will be a distribution center uh, as well. I want Pastor Pender to come stand along with Bishop Beatty and uh, talk about what they're doing. And uh, please, I want to say, I, I, I still feel like I'm, I'm, I'm not being fair because there are others who could take this mic at the same time. Uh, Pastor uh, Bishop Beatty, come on to Pastor Pender. Farbrook, we um, just wanted to step up and uh, be a part of helping um, uh, those that were in need. <laughs> we made a few words. Yeah. Yes, Pastor Terrence Johnson is, is in the room. We thank God for him for the Higher Dimension Church. Bishop Beatty, would you uh, just give some some thought, some word about what happened at Harvest Time in the last week? Uh, thank you, Bishop Dixon. Just wanted to briefly chronicle on Monday, uh, Bishop Dixon was on the bridge that was uh, kind of the epicenter of all of this where people were asking for help. And he was there in a very tangible way, brought chicken, brought bread, but then he saw the need was overwhelming. He was right there with me and our mayor and said, what can we do from a long-term perspective? And from there, he began to plan and strategize. And with a couple of days, he had come up with this concept of H-Town Cares. And it was not just about something that Harvest Time or the community of faith could do, but something that the brotherhood could do, those who are, who are concerned about the city of Houston. So I do appreciate what Bishop Dixon has done. And through the efforts of Harvest Time Church, Thus far, we've reached over 10,000 people and touched them in a very tangible way. But then it let me see that the need is much greater because every time we met a need, there was another need that came forth, and we see that this need will continue. And I'm glad to stand with my brothers and sisters to say that there'll be no need unmet right. because H-Town cares. Pastor Terrence Johnson is setting up a site in his Cato location. Pastor, would you come and speak to that, please? Well, let me just first of all thank God in a special way for um, just the faith-based community, uh, just support, and I thank God in a special way for Bishop Dixon, uh, H-Town Cares. Uh, also, the uh, Katy community was hit really hard, and, you know, our church have set up a site uh, on 10th Street uh, for those individuals who may need help. Uh, we are a site providing resources for uh, all those individuals in the cave of Texas. So just want to let you know that higher dimension, Pastor Jay, uh, we are supporting uh, Houston Care. Thank you so very much. Uh, I want to mention that uh, Pastor Dr. Sam Gilbert was unable to be here with Houston Metropolitan Baptist Ministers Conference. They are fully in support as well, and, uh, and there are others. I need to mention strongly that Wells Fargo uh, it was unable to be at this press conference, but once their name associated firmly with H-Town Cares, and uh, along with all these pastors, thank you. For, we appreciate you helping us to get this message out. I feel so bad. I see Jarvis Johnson is here and, and others in support of H-Town Cares that I cannot call all of our names uh, in the microphone. I feel tragically bad. The AME Church is represented here by Pastor Roderick Dawson. Pastor Dawson, uh, there you are. Would you step forward on behalf of the AMEs, uh, please? And uh, all right, he's waving there, and uh, uh, we appreciate him. So we, this is a multi-denominational effort, and uh, we thank God for collective potency, and thank you for carrying the story. Are there any questions before we conclude? All right, we do have a, a nonprofit and a board, that's a, a committee that's set up to handle that. And uh, so as resources come in, and 100% of the resources that come in are going directly to need. And we'll be collaborating with the mayor and with his team and staff to determine who needs because everything that's collected through H-Town Cares, none of it is going to anything other than providing resources and support for people who are in need.
Well, uh, I, I can't speak to that too firmly, other than to suggest that we are all aware that there always will be uh, some, uh, you know, lack of, 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 of authenticity and genuineness, but we're not really going to focus on that. We understand poverty is a prevailing issue in every major city, including Houston. And, and if a person is, is, is hungry enough to stand in line for a sandwich who was not in the flood, if they're hungry, they'll, they'll eat. Uh, but from a technical perspective, we are assessing where people will live, what they went through, they'll give documentation, and then we'll be able to service those needs accordingly. Any other questions? All right. Thank you all very, very much. We appreciate you to the highest. Thank you and God bless.